Global relations are possibly the most strained they've ever been since the end of the Cold War. Major conflicts are breaking out every year, and nations are now looking to fortify their shores with the best defense systems available. The Kawasaki P-1, fully developed by the Kawasaki Aerospace Company, is a powerful record-breaking marine patrol aircraft with loads of solid capabilities that could make every nation beg for it. In the mid-80s, Air Patrol Squadron 3, a popular unit in the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force, or JMSDF, began using the Lockheed P-3C Orion for maritime surveillance missions. Due to its initial success, the Kawasaki Aerospace Company obtained a license from Lockheed and were able to produce over 100 P-3s in Japan. After nearly two decades in operation, the JMSDF observed that its P-3C fleet had started to age and weren't up to date in technology. They began looking for a replacement maritime patrol aircraft to introduce into their fleet, but available aircrafts which were most similar to the P-3C weren't up to the JMSDF standards, so in collaboration with the Japanese Defense Agency, it decided that an indigenously developed aircraft had become a necessity. At the turn of the millennium, the Japanese Defense Agency, or JDA, announced a five-year defense plan which spanned from 2001 to 2006 for the development of its defense systems and structure. A part of this program included the domestic development of a PX maritime patrol aircraft. The Kawasaki Aerospace Company was one of the first manufacturers to tender a proposal. It eventually received its wish in 2001 when it was awarded with prime contractor status for the PX program as well as the CX program, which was aimed at developing the next generation of cargo aircraft. It was the first selection process of its kind in Japan for nearly three decades. The PX and CX programs were originally intended to be developed separately, but it was later decided that it was better if some sections of the two were developed simultaneously as it would save development costs and ensure some level of commonality. The result was identical body components, such as the cockpit windows, outer wings and internal parts like the auxiliary power unit, flight control system computers amongst others. In 2004, Japan and the US were in discussions with the US Navy to potentially partner up with the Japanese Defense Agency to share some maritime aircraft technology which could have helped reduce the cost of the PX program. Crush it in favor of adopting the US Navy's full program. Ultimately, the Japanese Defense Ministry opted to stick with the PX program due to concerns that a foreign aircraft wouldn't quite satisfy requirements and on the 28th of September 2007, their dreams of a domestically produced aircraft came true, as the then called XP-1 aircraft completed its inaugural flight. On the 26th of March 2013, the JMSDF finally took its first delivery of a pair of the aircraft, which was now designated the Kawasaki P-1. Then in 2015, a Kawasaki P-1 became the first Japanese military aircraft to feature in a European flight display when it performed at the 2015 Royal International Air Tattoo in the United Kingdom. It was estimated that the development costs for the PX and CX programs were around $3.3 billion combined, a huge reduction in developmental costs when you compare them with similar aircraft. The P-1 is a custom-built maritime aircraft which has no commercial counterpart. This means it was built and designed for its specific role from the start, unlike many other maritime patrol aircraft. Following its launch, the Kawasaki P-1 became the first ever operational aircraft to make use of a flyby optics control system. It was also designed to operate at low and high altitudes just like its predecessor. So now that we know why the Kawasaki P-1 was developed, why is it one of the most unique military aircrafts out there? The Kawasaki P-1 is around the size of a regional airplane, but it can hold just eight people as part of a mission crew and three people as part of a flight crew. It has a maximum takeoff weight of nearly 80 tons and is powered by 460 kilonewton thrust IHI Corporation F7 turbofan engines, also developed in Japan specifically for the P-1. With its powerful engines, the Kawasaki P-1 is able to hit a maximum speed of around 538 knots or almost 620 miles per hour with a cruise speed of 450 knots 
or about 520 miles per hour. Its flight range is pretty impressive at 4,300 nautical miles, although its actual combat range is closer to 1,300 nautical miles. The fuselage of the P-1 has a double bubble cross section. Being a military aircraft, it only has a few cabin windows and the cockpit windows are the same as on the Kawasaki C-2. It also sports a magnetic anomaly detector which can be used to detect submarines with the magnetism of their hulls. The aircraft has two hard points on each wing and two on each wing route. It also comes with eight internal bomb bay stations with provisions to carry equipment such as missiles like the AMG-84 Harpoon and AGM-65 Maverick, bombs like mines and depth charges for underwater targets, including other important technologies such as torpedoes and sonoboys for transmission. The Kawasaki P-1 is equipped with state-of-the-art avionics such as an active electronically scanned array radar system which can be used for surface and air searches, advanced combat direction systems, data link systems and even electronic countermeasure systems. And all of these boost the capabilities of the P-1 by a considerable amount. It's probably obvious to you just how powerful these aircrafts are, but how do they stand up against similar aircraft? Japan wasn't the only country who needed to replace their aging P-3C Orions. The United States Navy also had a large fleet of the aircraft and needed to upgrade their fleet from the low and slow operation of the Orion. However, they went for the Boeing P-8 Poseidon instead. Let's compare both aircraft to analyze the advantages and disadvantages of the P-1 in comparison to the Poseidon. While this isn't necessarily an advantage, the Kawasaki P-1 comes with a clean sheet design, while the P-8 Poseidon uses the frame of the Boeing 7378. You could say that the airframe of the P-1 may last longer due to being new, but there's no guarantee of that. Besides, Boeing could see the reuse of its old frame as an advantage since it helps them save development costs. An advantage of the P-1 over the Poseidon is that it is more suited for low and slow flying. This is because the aircraft was designed from scratch to also operate at low altitudes at slow speeds. The Poseidon doesn't have the capability to do this to the same level due to the aerodynamics of what is essentially a Boeing 7378 modified with Boeing 7379 wings and fitted with raked wingtips. Another advantage of the Kawasaki P-1 is that it is powered by four engines with the capability of shutting two of them down whilst in cruise. In comparison, the P-8 Poseidon has only two CFM 56-7B engines, which, while twice as powerful as the P-1's engines, would struggle if one is shut down mid-flight. The maximum takeoff weight of the P-1 is five tons lower than that of the P-8 Poseidon, but with an equal engine output and a larger wing area, it could mean a slightly better performance overall. Also, the Poseidon's range of 4,050 nautical miles is less than that of the P-1, but it does have a slightly higher cruise speed of 528 miles per hour. The P-8 Poseidon's main advantage over the Kawasaki P-1 is that it can comfortably marshal its reconnaissance drones at much higher altitudes. Its APY-10 multi-mode radars also mean that it can detect surface targets up to 230 miles away. It is said to also have a very sensitive AESA radar, which allows it to detect a group of people. And finally, sometimes the decision to acquire an aircraft comes down to price. The unit price of the Kawasaki P-1 is reported to be around $141.5 million, while the P-8 Poseidon is reported to cost roughly $175 million. That's a potentially 20% difference in cost savings for defense ministries which decide to go for the P-1. That could be all it takes. As you can see, the Kawasaki P-1 is able to more than hold its own against the main competition. But this doesn't mean it doesn't have its limitations. So, what are the unique challenges the aircraft faces? Earlier in its developmental stages, the P-1 did have some issues during test flights. One of the two aircraft developed an unstable combustion in a couple of its engines during mid-flight, which led to both of them being grounded in May 2013. The Kawasaki P-1 also has a relatively low detection range compared to its main competitor, the P-8 Poseidon. 
This is mostly due to the fact that the aircraft was also designed to fly low and slow and doesn't need such a high detection range. The Japanese government also used to have an arms export ban, which meant they couldn't sell military technology to other nations. The ban was eventually lifted in 2014, but by then the market had already essentially closed to them, and most indigenous weapons manufacturers had to make do with supplying local defence forces, which isn't exactly the most profitable situation. Nevertheless, the Japanese government has eased these restrictions and look to once again deal in military technologies with foreign markets. These are some of the biggest limitations which the Kawasaki P-1 has faced and continues to face. But regardless of these challenges, it now looks like every nation would want to have at least one in their fleet. There are so many conflicts across the globe at the moment that it's easy to lose track of what's going on. Many countries, especially the world powers, have been investing more into defending their territories. Military patrol aircrafts are integral to this. The USA and its Asia-Pacific allies have stepped up exercises in recent years due to China's unprecedented military build-up, which includes the addition of advanced submarines and warships to bolster its influence in the East China Sea. And the P-1 has secured some early promise in playing a role in this battle. Maritime patrol aircrafts from several Asia-Pacific nations, as well as the US, recently concluded a major anti-submarine warfare exercise and the Kawasaki P-1 emerged with a special performance accolade. The January 2024 exercise, taglined, Exercise Sea Dragon, saw maritime patrol aircrafts from Australia, India, Japan, South Korea and the USA operate simulated anti-submarine warfare missions from the Anderson Air Force Base on Guam, a US territory in the Pacific Ocean. The competing aircraft included P-8A Poseidons from the Royal Australian Air Force and US Navy, a P-8I Neptune from the Indian Navy, a Lockheed Martin P-3CK Orion from the Republic of Korea Navy, as well as the Kawasaki P-1. The seven mission exercise involved identifying, tracking and targeting both simulated and live submarine targets. The Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force ended up winning the Sea Dragon Championship belt based on the P-1 crew's ability to drop simulated torpedoes as well as their accuracy. Japan has boosted its defense budget and intends to invest $315 billion in its defense program over a four-year period ending in 2027. Many of Japan's famous brands like Mitsubishi and Toshiba are also involved in the production of military equipment. And all of them, including the Kawasaki Aerospace Company, are now being urged by the Japanese government to ramp up production for military equipment, including aircraft, such as the Kawasaki P-1 or C-2. Based on current evidence, the Kawasaki P-1 has more than shown its capabilities to compete with whatever maritime patrol aircraft is on the market. And even though they may not be as successful in the United States as aircrafts like the P-8 Poseidon, most of the rest of the world could be watching closely to evaluate whether they would need to get their hands on a P-1. In fact, some countries have already expressed interest in acquiring the P-1 in their future. It's been reported that Thailand and Vietnam have considered acquiring the aircraft and Kawasaki have offered the aircraft to France to replace its Breguet Atlantic aircraft. And according to information published by Defseca on January 7, 2022, the Bangladesh Navy has shown interest in purchasing the Japanese-made patrol aircraft. Kawasaki has also offered the P-1 to Germany, the United Kingdom and New Zealand, but both the United Kingdom and New Zealand opted for the P-8 Poseidon, while Germany expressed concerns that the aircraft wouldn't be able to achieve military-type certification within the set time frame. Regardless of its international success, the Kawasaki P-1 has great domestic backing as the Japanese Defense Ministry aims to completely replace all the over 100 P-3C Orions with Kawasaki P-1s. The P-1 is still a relatively new aircraft, so we might have to wait a couple more years to see how popular they become on the international stage. But what do you think of the new Kawasaki? Let us know in the comments below. Until next time, take care.